Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, so, got a PM about rising tuition rates and how pretty much, um, how with tuition going up, this is going to affect black people um, from trying to go to college. Um, and he just wanted my take on the situation. And my feeling is this, all right? Um, even when things were relatively low, okay, <clears throat> if you compare tuition, the average tuition nowadays to what it was maybe 10 years ago, we still weren't getting in. So it's not as if we were going to college, right, dealing with tuition, and now it's going up, and now we're like, we have to fall back. We weren't going to begin with. When the price was relatively low or higher, we weren't going in to begin with. And to be real with you, what isn't going up? Right, you know, the, the fact that tuition is going up isn't doesn't really scare me because that's what's going on in America. Everything is going up, right? Um, so, in regards to how this affects Black people, I mean, of course, I think it will give the naysayers more evidence or support to say why college isn't an option for Black people. But in reality, we were never going to begin with. <clears throat> now, in my opinion. Okay, first of all, there's a piece of uh, uh, information that people selectively leave out, okay? Um, in terms of uh, uh, black people who want to push for this whole idea that college isn't for us and we have to do our own thing, right? There's a piece of information that they leave out in regards to who can afford it. Now, the average middle class family, okay, that may have children that go to college don't necessarily pay for it. Okay, they can't afford to pay for it in terms of their bills and just running their household, especially if they have younger children. They can't afford to pay for the tuition. Now, they may be able to help here and there, don't get me wrong, but in terms of paying for the bulk of their schooling, no, that's not what's going on. Maybe they can pay 10% of it indirectly. So, oh, you need some book money or you need some, you know, um, uh, uh, fun money or something. But in terms of, you know, actually paying when that tuition bill comes, um, you don't have too many middle class families that are doing it. Okay. And you have uh, middle class families taking out educational loans as well. When we talk about uh, people who can actually pay for the kids to go to school, we're talking about upper class wealthy type of people who can actually pay for the tuition. And to be real with you, these same kids were going to private schools um, since they were in an elementary school. So paying for their education is something that's always happened. But chances are, if you went to public school your whole life, your parents are in a financial position to pay for your schooling. Okay? Um, like I said before, in school, when I went to the financial aid office, it wasn't only black people who were complaining. Of course, you had uh, Hispanics and maybe some Filipinos, but there was white people there. There was Asian people there. There were Indian people there. There's a whole bunch of people there who, quote-unquote, come for money, right, where mommy and daddy can pay for it, that were still in the financial aid office yelling and getting upset, and some were even crying. So what's going on? I thought their parents were paying for their education. No. Okay? They're doing what they have to do, whether it's applying for scholarships, uh, 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 grant money, taking out loans, or whatever. Okay? They're going through the same process that I'm trying to get, and other people are trying to get black people to do. Simple as that. What black people still don't understand is when you go to college, okay, it's something that you are doing for yourself. So, in a nutshell, you coming from a middle class family or you coming from a lower class family isn't as big as you guys want to make it out to be or certain people. Because the middle class families can't afford to pay for their schooling anyways. So if your assumption is that middle class families uh, are able to, middle class and above, are able to pay for their child's schooling, I guess it makes sense for you guys to feel like college isn't an option. But what I'm telling you is that that's not the case. You have middle class families that cannot afford to pay for their child's schooling. So see how people are in the same boat? So you're coming from maybe a lower income environment and they're coming from a middle income environment, right? But both of y'all can't pay for your child to go to school. But the middle class family is still sending, or still has a child going to school while we're saying that school is not an option. What people don't understand is sometimes you are a captive uh, and when you're a captive, sometimes you just have to 
bite the bullet and do what you need to do. You know, people say college isn't for me. Fine. What is your alternative? Part of my uh, research in terms of my graduate program right now is looking at <clears throat> the different options and the different uh, uh, pathways and dynamics that go into high school graduates who aren't going into college and who are going straight into the workforce. Right? I'm centering what I'm looking, what I'm studying on this certain area. And the more and more I do my research and you know do what I need to do, I quickly figure out that your options are limited in terms of what you can do. Right? Uh, like I said before, we're suffering from from having a lack of employment. So employers will simply use anything to filter people out. I mean, they use your credit score to filter you out. They'll use, do you have a degree or, uh, you know, some sort of degree to filter you out. Does that degree or your credit score have anything to do with your ability to do the job? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. For me, the majority of the time, no. There are certain positions that require you to have a degree, and you don't even need a damn degree. But because there's a lack of jobs and more people looking, they need some sort of foolish filter. And a lot of black people don't understand this. What is your recourse? I'm not going to say you're crazy just because you say you don't want to go to college. I'm like, okay, but what's your plan? What's your reasoning? You know, how are you going to attack this whole thing we call life? And nothing holds up. Once again, another uh, half-assed solution or half-assed philosophy that doesn't hold up. That sounds good when you're young and you're trying to be cool, but when you get older, it, it leaves you out to, you know, it, it hangs you out to dry, so to speak. There's no way around it. And like I said before, this whole issue about black people going to college and how it's not realistic is banked off of the fact that everybody else has parents that pay for their school. That's the, this whole argument is built all over that, on top of that, and it's false. It's not true. And it, and, and hopefully, if you're watching this video and you do get into some sort of issue, you can bring this point up, right? It, because it's a myth. Unfortunately, in our community, we have so many myths. We have so many <clears throat> things that we never explore, but yet we build a, a, a culture or how we feel on top of them. You know, it's amazing. Right? I don't know for how many years has this been put out that, you know, uh, financially, blacks just can't afford to go to school and it doesn't make any sense and this, that, and the third and we need this and we need that. When you've had middle class uh, minorities and middle class white people who've been going to school for the longest and mommy and daddy did not pay a dime for them to go to school. A dime. That burden was placed on the, the, their child, their student. And they had to, you know, uh, get a job or go part time or apply for scholarships, you know, take on a loan or do whatever they needed to do. So spare me the excuses. Right. You know, in regards to, you know, we can't afford it and we can't take out a loan. Don't give me all that bullshit, please, because we can get cars that we can't afford. OK, we can try to buy homes that we can't afford, hence the whole flo uh, foreclosure thing. We can get out terrible loans to get items that do nothing for us. But in terms of getting an educational loan, um, which has relatively lower interest rates, it's not an option. It's foolish. And these same people who want to, you know, knock it down, hey, give me an alternative. And I'd be more than willing to listen to what you have to say and possibly promote it to other people. But they're not going to give you one. So in regards to, uh, to wrap things up, uh, tuition waste grown, going up and what this means for black people, it doesn't really mean much right now because we were never going to begin with. Really. It doesn't matter. We know when I don't know when uh, uh, a college credit costs you maybe two hundred bucks maybe in the past and now it may cost you six hundred bucks. You know we weren't paying uh, for, for those college credits when they were two hundred. So even when it was relatively cheaper, we had nothing to do with what was going on because we had people who were promoting this whole idea that the only people who go to college are people who have parents who can afford it. 
which is false. Like I said before, if you went to public school your whole life, there's, there's a strong chance that mommy and daddy can't help you out with tuition. Yeah, they may help you here and there um, with the car payment here or there, or maybe even co-sign something. But in terms of just giving you cash or just paying off certain uh, some bill without you even knowing, it's a myth. It's not real. So if that's what you believe, you need to change it and you need to spread it to as many people uh, uh, people as possible. Because with the, the tuition rates going up on average, all you're going to have are people who will try to further get black people to not think about going to school as an option. And people will hold on to it because they'll put out this myth that the only people that go to college are people who come from homes where they can afford it. So I know I went, you know, long on this one, um, but, you know, I'm really passionate about when it comes to stuff like this more so than anything else. Um, so you guys take it easy. God bless.